Hello there, Golf Freak here, and welcome back to my Let's Play of Civ 5 as... What you go to? Where we last left off? Just building stuff. Gotta get all them things built. Um, oh, and you are being blocked. I'm just making sure that my religion is dominant. We're gonna wipe out the majority. Yeah, and this will more or less kick Buddhism off. I might as well use him to spread. I don't think Wittenberg... Oh, wow. Okay, well, that's a problem. Because if that's a natural spread, I don't like that. How is he not settled over here? This is a great city location. In fact, right here. It's still a plane, so he's not going to get the stoneworks, right? But it's... One oh, it's out of range of the stoneworks. But in range of two fish... No, it's not. Oh, well. Somewhere over here would be good. I don't care. See, I don't have any city-states that want my... Oh! Wittenberg does. Okay. Well, I might as well use it there, then. I hope this is gone. <laughs> Actually, I can check. Hey! Hey, 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 hey. Not cool. Not cool. Stop it. Yeah, it's gone. Oh boy, what do I do with you? like more fog busting but I think I'm gonna go ahead and bring everybody in because if I upgrade everybody I actually have a decent army um, you know it's not gonna be enough but I've been kind of going with the whole I'm gonna just build a new army and keep everyone else where they are but no nah. yeesh I'm going to need a lot of units. But if I can have three units pumping them out, then that's good. Oh, and that is always nice. Um... A knight. Hopefully they'll be relatively effective against the American Minutemen. And you know, I'm gonna have you over here fog busting because you can move quick. Uh, that cattle is out of range, so I don't know why the border is even bothered with that. Wow, they finally settled the city! <laughs> Jeez! Friends with everyone, apparently. Except for Valletta. Uh, Bismarck is plotting against Suleiman. I don't know if that's even true. Oh, please be a good tech. Why can't I... There we go. 15, 15, 13. So either gunpowder... Or the printing press. Well, we don't really need the printing press. Because all, everything's pretty much been taken there. So we'll take gunpowder. And how long till you seal attack again? 58 turns? Okay, you know what? That's not bad. It's not good. But it's not bad. Which means the steel I have is useless. 
Oh, chemistry. Lick my lips. Because that seems to be good. Also, if I get chemistry... Oh, I can bum rush fertilizer. No, I get chemistry. If I want to do this. I would love Brandy Brigade. Let's do that. And then this, 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 this. Yeah. Alert. Alert. Selamlar. I like how they automatically believe me too. Like if they were friendly with Germany, then uh, what it should do is say like, "Oh, how dare you, like do oh. that with our friends?" Tell you like they're not gonna betray us. Like that would be an interesting like negative penalty. Okay. Casimir's Poland, right? <laughs> Everybody, friends! Still not. No, you actually don't even have that. What? Where's Judaism coming from? Yeesh. Um. That's not cool, dude. I'll just buy it over here. Okay, three nights is enough. Let's get the musketmen going. Build a lumber mill. Wow, now Germany's here. There's no more good land here, dude. Get away. So I need to make sure you settle well before turn 300, apparently. Enemy has been spotted near where? Oh. We have two spread religion uses. College. That will be a significant boost. We'll get a boost of 22 plus 5 plus, it'd be plus 7. So 29. That's pretty significant. Um, he's got a lot of open terrain regardless. Shock and I like to get medic. So I'm going to have a decently sized army. Caravan. Keep giving you the production.
Alert. Yeah, this is going to be a serious problem. I'm going to need a massive, massive army. Like, I'm going to need, I need an army probably as large as the entirety of uh, this border right here. All right. Um, are we giving more pressure here? Nah. Go to Seattle. I could give them the food or the production. I would prefer the production. Okay, you finished the harbor. Wait, why aren't you connected? Maybe it'll, it'll happen next turn. Uh, granary. You're welcome. So I should consider getting my worker over here. So I'll get silk. I don't think I'm getting silk, am I? Nope. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Let's see. I can get you all the way up to a musket man. I'm going to need a lot of cash to do that, but... You know what? <laughs> I'm going to need as many military units as I can get, I think. Um, stable's not totally worth it. Opera House. Jerk. Blocking my path. Oh, you have almost no movement. Wait, how's that work? Oh, you actually haven't spread. I see. Wow, it actually got rid of Judaism? That makes missionaries a little more powerful. Oh, they're gonna go down there and defend, which means I need to have a unit down here. Wait, what? All right, Old Faithful. Old Faithful uh, counts as a mountain. That makes sense, considering if you look into my random clips, which, by the way, is an interesting series that you guys should check out on my channel, um, they were able to build Machu Picchu on Old Faithful. Yeah, that's totally worth it. Observatory is totally worth it. But that's good, because I don't have... Oh, I do. I have you over here. But this is going to be a better production city, so I can build all of my uh, other wonders here. Which is good, because it's 
way more protected than any of my other cities. Wow, sudden barbarian invasion, jeez. Uh, opera house. already have an opera house. I don't think it should. I'll have to finish the musketman before I do anything else. So we like the hermitage of my capital. And spread And see, this is what I don't really like, is I'm actually progressing in text faster than I can build the units. Like, I can't really build an army fast enough. Oh my gosh, so much stuff. Four turns to the next policy. My culture is staying up quite nicely. I say it was 29, it might be a little bit off of that, but that would be 203. Yeah, 204. Because it went up a little bit. Let's get one of these ships out. Uh, you, Washington, yes. Okay, shock medic. We are now unhappy. So I'm going to have one. Uh, let's start a crossbowman. Let's see, you're going to Philadelphia, go ahead. Shoot. Does not bode well. Being unhappy just does not bode well. 
I just need to beat more city states. Like that that's what killed me. I found I do much better in games where I have access to city states. Admittal admittably um like it this is significantly different than uh, before, but still. It's funny, we're not even at the halfway point, and we're doing, like, they're rushing through these attacks and stuff. Okay, boarding party one, boarding party two. Based upon distance from capital. Hmm. Maybe I want to send a bunch of these, huh? You know, I think I'm going to do that. Let's get, let's get up to three and then send them in different directions. And Flourishing Arts will get the Golden Age, which is good because I'm unhappy, which will give me a little bit of time to become happy. As well as um, the bonus in culture in my capital. And then we'll get Ethics next, reducing the cost of all the future policies. Yep, I like it. Okay. Build a lumber mill. Alert. Alert. So we're still unhappy. I think... Oh, they actually made it progressive. So it's actually worse and worse and worse the unhappy you get. I actually kind of like that. So, with that in mind, I still need to get happy. Because it's actually affected me. I think the Golden Ages before actually took away the unhappiness penalty. Like, it just it didn't even bother with the happiness anymore. So that could be a problem. Farms. I'll build the training post in the jungle. Now, I'm not going to do this with America because um, it would be better farther away. Finally, have a great musician. I like how these they, they change during the uh, as the ages progress. Higuchi. Hmm. Yeah, do this. No disrespect for skipping that, I just finished my music history class and I'm kind of tired of listening to music, so... Okay, we'll build one more now. I'm guessing that's how that's said. Um... No, no, no. That's gonna go away, it's not gonna be worth it. Okay, you know what? Let's take a peek at our demographics. I am first place in production, and I imagine that the production I'm getting from my trade is helping significantly, but that is really nice. Um, and significantly because I have the most population and the most production, because production is key, um, more often than not, because it helps you more get everything, and population is right there with it. But, uh, yeah, and we're actually significantly above the average, but then again, there are people like this dragging it all the way down. I'm 8th place in soldiers, but not that far behind, surprisingly. 
So the idea I think is going to be, because I'm stopping, so it's a good idea to keep it in my mind, is to basically build up an army that should be able to at least take Boston, even with all of his units, and keep out pumping units, and then, um, while I'm at war, continue to pump out as many units as I can. And I'll have a very, very large standing army, which won't be very helpful given my current situation, but I'm hoping to find another uh, soft target nearby. I may decide to go for Rome as a, kind of like a launching point for Germany. I'll need a navy, though, so I'll have to go down the naval techs. Otherwise, I just need to keep on boosting all my science. But I also need to watch my happiness, and if we take a peek at his cities, he has no unique resources but sugar. So we'll have to build happiness buildings. And that's a terrible... Look at this, it's terrible. It's a 2-2. Two -two. You just don't want that, especially when it's sharing a luxury resource. That's just bad. Like, he's missing out on the horses over here. And he barely has access to Mount Fuji. And he has access to the fish, but he won't be able to build a lighthouse. So he's losing out there as well. So it's just like, it's bad. Bad, bad, bad. There's a city... Oh, that's Germany. Yeah. That's annoying. But, you know, I'm liking where we're at. Um, like, production-wise, I have a lot of very good cities. And that's good. And I'll be able to build units from multiple cities as well. Which is a significant improvement. We're actually going to increase my production here in a second. With the, the mines and quarries. I can only have one quarry in my entire empire. But, uh, yeah, the mine improvements are going to be nice. Be a nice little boost to production. But, anyway, yeah, I'm cutting the video off here. So, thank you all very much for watching. And God bless.